look what we have here. Look what the cat dragged in. Listen, you got some nerve showing your face around what I would call these parts. Look who's talking. It's really rude. I know, it really is. Very, very <laughs> rude. All right, so here's what we're going to do today. Uh, welcome to the program. Good to be here with you. It's a little, it's an odd time for us to be doing it, but it is. we've had some issues at home. It's things that have precluded us from being able to do a stream. Uh, so, back in 1992, uh, it wasn't our first computer, but it was our first, um, like, PC. 91, we got it. Mm -hmm. It was a BSR, was the name brand. And my dad, uh, you know, he, 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 he spent all the bells and whistles, right? <laughs> he, as he does. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, he's the guy that bought a computer and got a, a TV card so you could actually watch TV on it. Uh, so cool. Before that was like a thing. Well, anyway, so he uh, he 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 spent the money on a uh, a sound card, a good sound card, which was cool because we were like, oh, we can do all kinds of music stuff on it and all that. Right. Well, maybe I wasn't at the 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 skill level to be able to do that at uh, twelve years old or thirteen years old or whatever I was at. So anyway, it was called Sound Blaster. As you can see on the picture, and I've got a couple of the demos that came with the sound card that we're going to play with today. Okay, that is so fun. I, okay. I think before we get into that, though, I'm going to start uh, another game that um, also has a history with uh, what, growing up. Now, what you're seeing here is a uh, version of Space Invaders, but an old, 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 old version of Space Invaders. This was on the RCA Studio 2, which was a video game console, which came out in 1977, and it doesn't predate the Atari, but it uh, it's right around there. Okay. Um, it was a very, as you can tell, very rudimentary, um, you know, uh, video game console. Black and white, the only sounds that there were, oh, hold on, let me cut that. There we go. Uh, sound. I, I didn't realize how loud the sound was. It's not coming over my headphones. Um, yeah, black and white. There were no controllers. It was just a keypad on the on the unit that you used. Okay. And um, it had no sounds except for what came out of the system. It didn't. It didn't play sound to the TV. Okay. So you heard some yeah. sounds to the system. And this was our very first video game console before we had an Atari or anything else. We had the RCA Studio 2. Oh, you had this? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, my brother actually <laughs> went my brother actually went and bought one like um, 20 years ago and no it was way. yeah, it was still vintage then because it came out in 1977. Oh well, yeah. Um but yeah, so um yeah, we we spent a lot of time uh, playing around with this and the best game Like how many games did it have? So it had built-in games? Okay, so it's like okay, so it, it was all like kind of like in one, kind like of like there's like all in one like systems that you can even get now, really. The plug and play, like, like a plug and play. Yeah, but it, yeah. it took cartridges yeah. too. Okay, gotcha. Uh, how many assist games did we have? I don't know, not very many. Whatever was built in, and then maybe like four cartridges. Okay. So we didn't have a whole heck of a lot of different uh, different ca ca uh, cartridges for it. So I'm going through these games right now because I've finally finally found an emulator that I can play it on i've been trying to for a long time <laughs> so cool. yeah and uh so that's uh, that's what we're going to be playing in the background for the first portion of the program in the next portion of the program we're going to do a demo on the sound blaster um programs that came with the sound blaster a couple of them anyway yeah it's like a that's a fun name too like sound blaster <laughs> very 90s yeah, yeah, yeah very 90s um yeah the sounds processed by audio tools that kind okay. of okay we had this uh, deal when, when we were at the radio station that every time the computer shut down, the sound card needed to be re-registered registered with whatever they... I don't know. It didn't seem on the up and up to me. Yeah, yeah, no. Like, it totally... Something wasn't right about that. Oh, it was, <laughs> was kind of like it was like a demo, and they were running the entire station on a demo. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, it would just start talking in the middle of a song, and it would say... Sound is processed by. What I said. Sound is processed by, by stereo tools. Stereo tools. <laughs> like we actually told, I had to tell them one time, like because it would not stop, and yeah. they came in and then like opened a bunch of windows and put in some code. It was like I don't know. It was just strange. I, yeah, but I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out and just started doing it myself. <laughs> Rather, you know, they're like, you you got to you got to tell you got to tell the uh, uh, Victor that was one of the guys that did the audio. You got to tell him right away, really, because it's like five in the morning. I just got to work. 
and he's asleep. I really got to call him and tell him about this. Right. Why, why don't you just tell us how to do it and we can do it. But I've, I learned how to do it just by clicking around and figuring it out. But it, what it wanted, what it wanted was it wanted the registration uh, key. The problem with that was it was really impossible to find the screen on the software. Um, so I had to keep writing it down. I, I ended up doing screenshots and taking pictures and things so that I could, <laughs> so I could see what it was. Um, so yeah, that was that was that's kind of what that reminded you think me. Of. I don't have to make a phone call at five a.m. I can do this by myself. You know, and really, I, that, that's that's indicative of uh, of of working in radio. Nobody wants to do anything for themselves. They always just want to complain, let somebody else do it, and all that. Where I'm the exact opposite, and then they think, oh, well, you know, you never ask for help, or you never do this. No, I don't. You're right because I learned how to do it myself because I don't want to bother <laughs> right, anybody. Right. And somehow <laughs> that's somehow that is a uh, that's uh, going against like policy or going against whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't follow the chain of commands. <laughs> right. Well, that's because I don't want it, it to start him probably playing all night. I don't want to have it playing any longer <laughs> right. than it has to. And when the show starts, I don't want this playing in the background while we're trying to do a show. And so let me figure it out. Because you couldn't go and you couldn't uh, bother the the uh, the owner because he was in another room doing... Well, first of all, he didn't get there till 6.30 or whatever, 6.15. And we were there a good two hours before he got there. Yeah. But uh, you couldn't bother him because he's doing a show. And, like, they freaked out if you opened the door while they were doing a show. It's so true. Which yes. is, again, I understand you don't want to be bothered while you're doing a show. But you got, like, 16 people in there. <laughs> right, Somebody right. can be distracted for a minute. It's right, fine. Exactly. Somebody get on me. Like, they, would get, they would get mad if there was a, uh, a guest. They had a guest coming in. You know, how your guest is here. Okay, I gotta go, we'll, go, we'll, get it, we'll get it, we'll get it. Okay, well, they're not scheduled for another 20 minutes, so they can sit there. Yeah, and it's that's like, it. well, okay, well, then can you tell them? <laughs> I, 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 yeah, because I don't speak Spanish, so I can't tell them that now. Because they speak, they're, 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 they were uh, for the Spanish language station. Right, exactly. Anyway. Uh... Okay, so uh, we'll just give um, a quick rundown of what's been going on. So our cat is sick. No, um, I don't want to talk about yeah, it. We, we're not, that's all I'm just going to say. Our cat is sick. Um, that's why we've kind of been um, not doing uh, shows for a little bit. Anyway, um, I am wearing uh, your very special T-shirt that you've had since you were 14 years old. I did. Yeah, I got that at the first Bob Dylan concert I ever went to. And <laughs> it's a Bob Dylan T-shirt, yes. <laughs> yeah, my, my bro- this is kind of weird. My brother's friend, uh, Victor, who later became an actor, okay? Yes. But not the kind you can watch at work. <laughs> And this is not. And this is, to put it politely. And, that was pretty polite. Yeah, and it, I, this isn't like modern. This is like the late '90s, so it's not like there's websites and stuff. It was, anyway. But yeah, he took me to go see. He loved country music, and he always took us to see country concerts. I actually went to a couple of country concerts with him, just because but without my brother. Okay. Which in retrospect yeah. was a little weird, but I was 14, and, you know, going hanging out with a 20 year old guy. But anyway, uh, he was very cool, and he. Got me tickets to see Bob Dylan. So we drove to Philly. We almost died because he got his, this is true. He got his car stuck on the railroad tracks in Philly. No. And we couldn't get the car off the railroad tracks. Oh my goodness, no. Yeah. See, I that's kind of one of my fears too, is like uh, not seeing like a train coming. <laughs> it's like. Before we get into your topics, uh, I want to share something with you and I want to ask your opinion on something. Sure. Um, okay, so DoorDash. We've been, since we. We're since the radio station, since we're not working there anymore, uh, just trying to make some extra money because although I've been filling out applications and things for other jobs, not radio jobs, just regular jobs, uh, I haven't heard anything back yet. It's been about a month and it's kind of like what you know, everybody says everyone is hiring, really? They're not hiring me. <laughs> I, I think it's partially because uh, getting a job down here is hard because I have a well known name down here and it's it's hard. So really? I, I, yes. I, I kind of want to like apply in a different area and see if that you know what I wanted to do is start is just start using my my middle name for job applications yeah that's probably not a bad idea um anyway we've been doing some door dashing and my parents they're retired they live in near Pittsburgh they've been doing door dashing too after they saw that we were making some money doing it they uh decided to start doing it too now it's kind of hard to hard to uh talk about because you know, we made around eighty bucks last night, right? We did. But then I yes. just I just uh, read a story about these girls that are doing the uh, um, the 
NPC AI thing on on Twitter. You know what I'm talking about? Uh huh. The thing, yes. It's the thing where they're like, mmm, spicy, you know, or whatever, and they're right, eating. Right, right. Mmm, yeah. popcorn. <laughs> Thank you for the hot dog. Gang, 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 gang. That thing, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like the, the, the two lead girls doing that are making thousands of dollars a night doing Incredible. that. Incredible. Thousands of dollars, and I say good for them. I know people are like, ah, oh, it's stupid. This is the downfall of society. You know what? Look, that's not going to last forever. The uh, the the novelty of that uh, is going to wear off. Right, the novelty right, right. of the girls uh, uh, pretending they're robots on online is going to wear off. Probably when ro- robots start doing it. <laughs> right. Like, well, we could do it better. So they're making we're actually they're, a robot. <laughs> they're making seven thousand. I, I saw anything from three thousand to ten thousand dollars a night doing that, which is crazy. That is super jealous. Absolutely crazy. In yes. a different life, I want to be a hot girl so I can make money doing that kind of stuff. Because that's <laughs> Just like what I want to do. A hot girl robot. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, anyway, so my folks are doing the door dashing thing. Yes. Yes. And. They keep bugging me how much you're making, how much you're making, and you know I don't like talking about money. I just don't really not not because I just don't like thinking about it. Right, right, right. But I don't have any. Um, so I asked them, "Well, what are you guys making?" This is what she says. It took us nine hours and fifty six minutes, so ten hours. Okay. To make two hundred and twenty three dollars, hmm. which totals twenty two dollars and thirty eight cents per hour. So they're making a little bit more than us because I believe we make a. About two hundred and thirty-eight for sixteen hours. Two hundred and thirty-eight for sixteen hours. Yeah, they're making. They're there. Making more than us. So they're making more than us. Yes, they are. Um, why? Um, I think. Uh, I think maybe distance has a lot to do with it. I know that. Um, when we have orders that are further away, they're always higher in tips. Um, and also the place that people order from, um, I think they have higher fees, and then those fees go back to you as the driver. They say most of their orders come from Taco Bell. Um, I guess that's crazy um, because we don't have a DoorDash Taco Bell, so I don't know like what that would be like. Yeah. Um, but we do have a couple like kind of high dollar ish type restaurants, I guess. Um, that do give out pretty good tips. Um, so they are making more. They, I mean, just the fact of the matter is, they are making more than us. It's not fair. (laughs) Don't think. Don't think. No. Is it because we live in a sort of? It's so weird because we live in a a poor, a poor area. Yes. However, it's also a resort area. So you've got like super, super rich people, and then you got people who can't afford to eat. So you would think that, like, it would even out, you know? I don't think it does because I think it's the people who can't afford to eat are the ones that are doing the uh, ordering from, you know, KFC to get, oh, gotcha. you know, yeah, delivered yeah, to their yeah, house yeah. because they're they're incapacitated. They can't move because they're in a wheelchair. We happened to us yesterday. We saw somebody like that. It's they so ordered true. something yeah. so silly. Like, it, was like a, it was like a mile away from the house. One more DoorDash thing? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Saw a story online. Somebody was complaining because they ha- their DoorDash driver, their instructions were, Come to my apartment. It's on the uh, third floor, apartment number 305. Okay. When the DoorDash person got to the apartment building, he uh, uh, just left the food at the front uh, door. Didn't go all the way up the stairs to apartment 305. Okay. His reasoning was he didn't feel safe doing it. Okay. Uh, And so this guy was flipping out. He's like, I gave him a $3 tip, and it was only a .5 mile journey. And, you know, a lot of people were saying things like, yeah, well, that's because he's lazy and all that. But then you had some DoorDash people who were saying, well, $3 tip, you, you can't really judge it based on the um, the .5 uh, uh, miles because how how much time and effort does it take to get to the apartment building? From that's the true. parking spot, whatever. Yes, you don't know about you don't know about traffic. You know, like uh, how. Y- I'm not talking about traffic. I'm talking about after that. Gotcha. I'm talking about foot traffic. I'm okay. talking about the thing we had to do three nights ago, whatever. When we had to deliver to, it was just a regular house number. But when we got there, they told us to park the car and be prepared to walk. And we had to walk to try to find an apartment that was sketchy as it was. Yes. And uh, it, it took us a, a while to find it, not because nothing is like you know. It's like building 11, and you can't, there's no building 11. There's 400, there's 500, there's 800, there's no building 11. Well, it turns out it was, no, it was a whole other side of the thing. You had to walk the entire way to get there. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking, 
when you go into an apartment building, that's you know, the, somebody made a really good point that I, I thought was good. They said, meet them at the front door, at the front gate, because you wouldn't expect somebody to go inside a house and deliver to the spare bedroom. And it's basically that. That's true. And, you know, I've actually, so I've been on the other end, too, where I've ordered DoorDash. And I have had DoorDash drivers call me when they get here yeah. and say, hey, can you come out and get your stuff? Right. Like, they won't just leave it. They won't no, that's tell what me. they did. Yeah, yeah. Like, they'll tell me. So, like, he could have, he could have, instead of just leaving it at the foot of the stairs, yeah. at the bottom of the stairs, he could have called him and said, hey, can you meet me out here? And then met the guy and gave him the food. Like, I think that would have been fair. Okay. I, I don't know that he didn't do that. I okay. mean, he sent the guy. Yeah. He sent the guy a picture of where it was. Gotcha. Okay. So it's not like he just left it there and ran. Right, right, right. Of course. No, I get it. Um, I think that. I think that that's totally okay. I mean, especially if you don't feel safe going up the stairs and leaving it at the door. All right. Beyond all that, though. He says three dollar tip is fine because it was point five miles away. My point is, it might have been point five miles away, but when you have to get out and start walking and finding the place, it's going to take a lot more time up, and it's going to use the time that you would have spent delivering other people's food. So you're losing out by having to get out and walk around and find the place. And their response is, well, if you don't like it, get a better job. Which is like, you know, if you don't like it, I say, learn to tip better. Because exactly. nobody would be complaining if that was a $7 tip. Exactly. The three dollar tip. You're so right. You are so right. I know. No, I think three dollar tip is just not good enough. And then, and then to complain, and not only complain to DoorDash, but also then write a post about it online because you're so mad about it. I mean, to to me, that's it's a little entitled. But like that makes you look bad too, because it's like it's just a like you just gave a three dollar tip like for somebody to park get out of their car walk up you know the stairs like all that stuff like that's not good enough sorry you're flip flopping here a little bit i gotta be honest a with little you. bit yes it's kind of annoying sorry because like i'm trying to hold a conversation you're like yeah but you know the door dasher he could at least done this he could at least done that and, and then you're like but you know he didn't get tipped enough so i mean he's definitely right for doing that and then that guy's mad because he's doing like just like stick to what your belief is and stop flip flopping because, uh, you know. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Look, the customer isn't always right. Sometimes the customers are maniacs. That's all I'm saying. And if they put, like, the dude that wanted you, well, that was confusing, but the dude wanted you to go to find a parked car in the uh, chicken plant parking lot. Like, I mean, that's that was a little much. That was, it was, a little that much. was way too much. And you no, could say, oh, you I don't think. have to accept it, if you, but you don't know where it's going. When you accept it. You exactly. don't know if it's going to somebody's prison cell, you know, or whatever they're saying. Oh. You know? I'm in the right, out, right, I'm in right. an outhouse. Deliver to me in the outhouse. I'm ordering toilet paper. I'm in the middle of a field. Can you please deliver it to the middle of the field? You did that <laughs> on a track. I did. <laughs> Why did it take you so long to confirm? I don't know. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, you are right. <laughs> wow. All right. You are on top of your game today, sister. So what do you got news-wise? Okay. So, um, actually, I have all just kind of crazy stuff today. Mm-hmm. So I hope you're prepared. I'm always prepared. I was a okay. boy scout. So number one is exploding watermelons. It's so hot that watermelons are just bursting in the fields. That's just, a shame. Just... I wanted to run over Exploded. a watermelon last night, and you said no. You did. you did. And I don't think it would really give you the effect that you were looking for. That's why I said no, because I didn't want you to feel let down. Because it doesn't really uh, explode like that. That's not, what, that's not true. You're just saying that now. No, it's true. Look, we have ran over watermelons uh, at okay. the job that I work at, and it's not really that exciting. I it's mean, it's just not. No, the, the, it wasn't about the outcome. It was about the act. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, that's fair. You know, why don't you not make life-altering decisions like this for me? <laughs> but then the car will get all sticky. And then you have, like, a rotting watermelon in your yard. And then, you know, that's problems. Because then you have bees. And 
flies and it's just next to your car and it's just gross. Let me tell you something. Every time I get into your car, I'm swarmed by like 50 flies. I I, I don't think that's because of squished watermelons. If anything, uh, it's because of the absence of squished uh, uh, watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> you think there needs to be more squish watermelons? I call this version of Space Invaders Tetris Invaders because it looks like you're playing Tetris. Tetris. Uh, oh, it does. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'm worried about the. Um, I'm worried about the, the the weather. That's pretty crazy. I, I, the, I read a, a a daunting headline the other day that said it's not just a heat wave. Crazy weather is happening all over the planet, and that's a little concerning because we had a, a, a last weekend. We we almost got stuck in a tornado, which is crazy. Oh, that, was, that was so scary, and it came like out of nowhere. All of a sudden, we were driving around, and then this alert just comes over on my phone, and it's like tornado coming. Which then you look at the sky, and you're like, yeah, that tracks. <laughs> right, and we're like, okay, we need to get somewhere like now. We had to get we had to go park it and get a, go to a pizza place and eat a pizza. Which I kind of was like, well. If I'm dying, at least I'm dying eating a pizza. But then it wasn't even any good. And that was the problem. Then I was I like, know. I wish I would have gotten in this tornado. <laughs> I wish I would have picked a different pizza place. I wish I would have picked a tornado, is what I was saying. No, it wasn't that bad. Come on. I don't like it. <laughs> didn't like it, but it wasn't that I bad. I also didn't like your Pizza Quest either, just so you know. My Pizza Quest? You know it was called Pizza Gumball Machine or Pizza Quest? No, it's called Pizza Machine. Yeah, it's not very good. Yeah. Um. Okay, so... Topic number one was, it's so hot. How hot is it? Watermelons are bubbling, and they're exploding just wow. randomly. Wow. What a lineup. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, um, I'm going to do this early then, because this is next on my list. Random facts. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for some random facts? I'm ready for some random facts. Okay. Fact number one. Don't do that. Sorry. Starting in our 50s, most people have a noticeable reduction in body hair, especially in the legs. The reason is unknown, but it could be due to poor, poorer circulation or lower hormone levels. I'm looking forward to that. Less hair? Less, bo- less leg hair? Yeah, man. When I was in ninth grade... You know, people were like, oh, man, why are your legs are there? I'm like, I don't know. Cause, Did people really say that to you? Because I'm Polish. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, they said you're like, you're a guy. Uh, well, I was, yeah, so... but I was like 14, and I guess they were, they didn't have their, uh, you They didn't know, have leg hair yet? I guess not. They were just jealous of your leg hair. No, it was pretty bad. <laughs> you can't, you're like, I can't even deny it. I'm not going to defend bad. it, no. It's, <laughs> I'm blessed with the superior genes of Polishness. <laughs> Charles Darwin used to eat all of the rare species he'd find when they, uh, to see what they tasted like. Yeah. He sampled puma, giant tortoises, iguana, armadillo, rat, and more. We actually talked about this on the radio. Um, yes, but it was the some rare owl that he ate. Yes, that ended I up making that. him not want to eat anything, any animals ever again that you know he discovered. So yeah, everyone who like you know, y- y'all like uh, talk about how great Charles Darwin was and all that. I mean, eh, because a lot of his uh, science wasn't really science. It was, I bet you I could eat that. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> yes. Give me that. Okay, what's the weirdest thing you've eaten? A dodo bird. Give me that. Me? Yeah. I'm still, ta- I'm still making fun of Charles Darwin. Give me okay, a break. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Give me that. A dodo bird. That's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at you. I've never seen you before. You know, whatever. <laughs> he's he's scrambling a turtle Get still over inside here. Get a shell. Over here. <laughs> inside a shell, making like a turtle uh, uh, custard. A turtle custard. Well, Ew, a tortoise, is... a sea turtle, no, sea turtle. No. He okay. said, "You've been alive for two hundred years." Meat. Ew, two hundred year old meat. Well, it's not two hundred year old meat. It's two hundred year old turtle that turns into meat. The meat's very same thing. Well, it's been around for two hundred years. Well, so it's, it's two hundred year old meat seasoned. Season. <laughs> I don't think so. Oops. What's the weirdest thing you've eaten? Um, I've had alligator snail. Um, I've had squid. Um, I've had... Uh, I think that's about the weirdest things I've had, really. I got weirder. What? Okay, go ahead. I had a checker. 
<laughs> no, that's not food, though. You didn't say food. You said, what's the weirdest thing you've eaten? I did. The weirdest thing yes. I ate was a checker. I licked a penny one time. Oh, that's not the same thing as eating it, now, is it? I no. licked a penny one time. That's like the most boring story I've ever heard. Well, that's because it wasn't a story. It was just, hey, I licked a penny. Yeah, I did checker one time. <laughs> was it like, oh, no, that's right. I know the story. So it was like one of those travel size checkers. It was Connect Four. Okay, Connect Four checker. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And I, it got stuck in the thing, and so I brilliantly thought if I put my hands on the sides to cover up the holes, I could, you know, suck it. <laughs> it went, and then it just and went I out. And I did, and it went all the way down. There you go. Just ate a checker. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it was in a car. We were on a drive. I'm, like, I'm, what'd you do? Were you just, I, no, were I'm you a little like, kid. were you, ta- like, yeah. scared? I you was. were like, I just ate a checker? I was, but I'm also the same, I was also the same as I am now, and I didn't say anything about it. Well, of course. Because, you know. If, who could admit to that anyway? Like, uh, hey guys, um, I just ate part of our, like, travel game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, telling my brother, Jody, uh, this is ra- just random question, man. I just want to get your expertise. <laughs> what, what, you th- what do you think would happen if, if we ate one of these, uh, p- game pieces? You think it would be <laughs> Okay, you, you think, think I'll survive? Be, you think it'll be all right? Should I? Should I, should I, should, I mean, should I like say if if, I, if it happened, it didn't, but if it did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's too funny. Yeah. Good stuff. The guy who invented the USB wanted it to be so flippable, but that doubled the cost. So he, so we got the USB devices that only plug in one way, and always somehow the opposite of the way you try to plug them in on your first try, which no is matter- so true. <laughs> I'll tell you what's worse. What? HDMI cables. Are they worse? Oh man, yes. They're. I don't know what it is, but like you gotta get in the back of the TV to do it, so you're already annoyed having to do that. You're trying to find the stupid thing. Gotta get a mm-hmm. flashlight. And it, no, those are bad. The USB cables are also annoying. Um, yeah, but the the HDMI ones are, are really really annoying. I have kind of learned, uh, at least on this computer, which way they face. So this is what I do. Uh-huh. I actually have a system for this. Uh, whenever I, I will unplug something else. Okay. Like I could, I'll just reach. I'll just reach down and like unplug the mouse. Look at how it is. Plug it back in. Then plug in whatever else I'm plugging. My system. Oh, but that the, makes sense. That's but on, smart. But on this computer, it's uh, the uh, solid part. You know, is the chip is to the right, so you flip it. But either way, like, it, it, it's weird because the wires are, always have a memory for the other side, even though you've never used it that way. So I don't know what it's talking yeah, about. No, no. It's just as, like, it's just one of the laws of the universe. It's like, this is how it's happening. Yeah, it's related to the cable, but the, uh, the, the... The cable's getting all tangled together? Yeah, yeah. Yes, no matter what. You know, just undo them, and then, like, in two seconds, they're just right back, all tangled up. We used to call that growing up a controller blob. There's always our Atari controllers <laughs> yeah. stuck together. Yeah. The phrase, knock, knock, who's there, comes from Shakespeare. It was in Macbeth. Everything comes from Shakespeare. There is That's so, so true. There is so much with our language that uh, we use on a daily basis and we don't think about that comes from Shakespeare. You, you, I, 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 I would tell you, look it up someday because there's so, 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 so much. Happened just Saturday. I was looking up a, 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 a phrase. just a common phrase. I don't remember which one I was looking up in my head. Um, but, oh, no, that's Shakespeare. Oh, that's Shakespeare. Oh, that's Shakespeare. It's always, you know. That's I crazy. I mean, the obvious he ones, like. such an influence. The obvious ones, like A Rose by Any Other Name, that's obviously Shakespeare. Right. Um, but he created the word assassin. Wait, he created he that word? He made that word up. He, well, no, I had no idea. Yeah. Um, yeah. That it is It was wild. supposedly based on uh, the, uh, the Haitians or Haitians. Which were like, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe those were like the German, um, German, like, army for hire, right? Okay. And he, because they were called Hastens or whatever, uh-huh. then he used it as assassins, some kind of joke. The thing, because you don't get the language, it's not, it, you don't understand the joke. But gotcha, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he does a lot of, It's he, lost in time. Well, no, I mean, it's not, because people know it. Oh, yeah. Just because I don't get the joke doesn't mean that scholars don't get it. <laughs> There's very little of what he did was lost in time, to be quite frank. But yeah, we could do a whole show based on. I mean, it'd be fun actually. Do a whole show based on the uh, wor- the, the the phrases that come from Shakespeare because it blow, it'll blow you away. It's like two places: Shakespeare and the Bible. That's where everything comes from. It's incredible. And we say them every day. 
I mean, many, many people, don't even know. they don't realize they're quoting the Bible or they don't realize that it's a, a Shakespeare line and has no idea what it, I say they, me too. It's not like I'm some kind of entomologist. <laughs> Babies are born without kneecaps. Gross. Um, and then they just grow them later. Wish I would have been born without kneecaps. No. Yeah, then I wouldn't have broken my knee. Well... No kneecap, no knee surgery. But don't you need kneecaps to walk? I don't know. Babies walk. I mean, they walk stupid, but they walk. <laughs> they crawl, and then no, they No, they put their arms up, and they're like that. <laughs> and they fall down. Protective baby legs. <laughs> uh, so this happened in China. Not here, but in China. They're limiting children's smartphone time to a maximum of two hours a day. Hmm. Good idea or a bad idea? Mm. Should kids have more than... Should kids have free reign of, mm. you know, cell phone time? Basically? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, when, 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 when... Did you have... You had unlimited... Did you have unlimited, like, time on the internet? No, when because you, you had to pay. Kid? You had to pay. Gotcha. Okay. When, when, when I'm so old that when the internet... When we, when we first got the internet... It was pay per hour. It wasn't that you could just go on and use it for uh, unlimited amount you know, of time. You know, unlimited. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. had like 15 hours free, and the rest of it you had to pay for. Gotcha. And so, you know, no, we didn't. I did have a friend. She ended up using uh, like 80 or 90 hours one, one week and owed wow. hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that could get really expensive really quick. I mean, it, especially because, like, you're on the Internet. So, like, time flies by really quick, too. I had a, a, a you remember when phones had to pay per text? Yes, I, I do. I had a friend who was a, an absolutely psychotic, texted me so much one month that my phone bill was 800 bucks. Your phone bill was $800 mm-hmm. just because it's, oh, man. Yep. How'd you pay that? <laughs> didn't, didn't call, I, uh... <laughs> We, we called the company and told them, hey, I didn't send these texts. They were sent to me. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so they're like, well, we'll give, how about half? We're like, how about no? How about none? How about no? Because I didn't do this at all. But, <laughs> but you know, spending a lot of time on the computer, the phone, the phone. To me, that probably could translate if I'm thinking about growing up, like when I was growing up. It wouldn't have been the phone. Although it might have been. Uh, my brother had to have his phone time limited because he spent so much time on the phone talking to girls. Okay, yes. Um, now, that you, now that you say that, I think I recall me as well. Like, I had to get off the phone at a certain amount of time. Like, I couldn't be on it for very long talking to friends. I had another friend, same one that spent all the money on the computer thing. Uh-huh. I uh, had to be off the phone by 9, a, uh, 9 p.m. No, no phone call at 9 p.m. Huh, okay. Um... There might be some caps to video game time. It depends. I mean, if you're using the, if you're using your Nintendo on the downstairs TV, you got to turn that off whenever the folks come home from work because they want to watch the news and stuff. So there's a Good cap point. on that. Yes. We yes. didn't. We didn't. The, the one. The, the biggest thing I think, as far as entertainment goes, from like our generation to to uh, the kind of current way they grow up now, is that we didn't have free reign over everything. We couldn't just watch something that we wanted to watch. You know, we couldn't just play a video game because we wanted to. We couldn't just jump in the computer because there might be somebody else on it. Or we have the time frame and all that. So we had more restrictions in place for where and when we could do things. Had TVs in the living room. uh, Had TVs in the bedroom. Yes. And so we were able to do that. Watch TV in the bedroom play video games. So so we ended up... It's kind of a good thing. We ended up kind of uh, hanging out more with, like, my, my brother and my friends... Because we weren't hanging out with the parents because they were watching something different and they were doing something different. So I we see. wanted to be, you know, doing our own thing. Yeah, so while they were, like, watching TV and doing whatever they were doing, you were like, okay, let's go do our own thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which was usually getting into trouble. <laughs> yes. But so, so my point is, I think, I don't think it's that different, really, than the way that we grew up. The only, the biggest difference is, like I said, the instant access to everything. We didn't have that. And, uh... Yeah, that's the biggest thing. The instant access to everything. No, I would say same. Like, I definitely had restrictions, too. um, Certain things. And then I had to be, like, you know, in bed at a certain time. I had to be up at a certain time. And then, you know, same thing. Like, I couldn't watch TV at a certain time. And 
all that stuff too only could be on the phone for a certain amount of time so um yeah i don't really see wh how it's any different than how we grew up like at all so da more dangerous now yeah true to a true, point to a yes point. yes it's more dangerous to a point there's more social engineering now than there was when we were growing up but whatever um yeah so I don't really know, you know, I'll only give them so much TV time or so much uh, phone time. You know. Maybe leave that up to the parents. Yeah. I, don't I, make it like a rule, like for I everybody. I mean, like, it's China. Just, yeah. So they, they like their rules over there. Yeah, but I mean, but I'm they're just not going to listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not going to listen to you. No, no. China's <laughs> not even like, oh, no, you're right. Holly let's said. Be, let's so, leave it up to the parents because we're yes, rational. Yes. We, are, <laughs> right. we have a rational government. Let's do that. Right. Do you want to check out the sand blaster? The sand blaster? I meant sound blaster. I really do like to check out the sand blaster. <laughs> I'd love to sand blast some stuff. You got a sand blaster? I don't. Don't dump up the mic. Don't bump the mic. Okay. It goes in my ears. <laughs> it's terrible. All right, the sand blaster. Yeah, okay. We'll do the first one because I have it sort of uh, set up and loaded up, I believe. All uh, right, and you're you're gonna you're gonna do this. I just have to um, I just have to set it up real quick. Okay. Because I, I there's a reason why. Okay. And I think it is. There we are. A little bit of DOS box coming your way. That's how old this program uh, is. So DOS box is kind of interesting. It's 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 annoying because you can't just go on and just use use it. Okay. You know, you've gotta you've gotta um, kind of follow the instructions. So it starts off with a, this is like an imaginary uh, drive. It does not really exist. It's, it's a virtual drive. Okay. And so what you have to do, because it thinks this is a different computer, right? Okay. You've got to tell it where to uh, get the information from. So you've got to mount your hard drive to this computer. Oh, Understand? okay. So you got to do, we'll do mount D. That's our drive we're making. Okay. It's all virtual. It's not going to affect anything. Right, right. Okay. And then the program that I want is going to be in this folder that I made earlier. Oops. The keyboard's off to the side, and I, I, I was on trouble. All right. Now, we got to go to that directory. If you ever used DOS before growing up, this is what it looks like. <laughs> no, I did not so this is all like this is all pretty scary to me so you do d directory dir and you do a slash w that that lines them all up if you don't do a slash w it is going to just show you the files like that but i like it i've always preferred it like that uh so you can see them all also back in the day you type in dos key yeah and doesn't work on here, but it allows you to cycle through what you've already typed, so you don't have to keep typing stuff over and over. Uh, okay. First thing we got to do is set up the sound card, and we do that. I, th well, I did it earlier by doing that. I kind of want to do that. Let me see what happens if I do this. Um, yeah, it looks right. Smooth talker male voice using blaster drive. That's what we got to do. All right, now you got to find an executable file, or back in the day. Uh, you, you, you could write little scripts and it would be a batch file and the little script the batch file might say Change this directory do this move this file open this file. So it's a little script that it runs. Okay, and um, Then it, the, the ultimate goal is to open up the main executable program, which I am going to do now You don't got to do the exe at the end that knows Okay, so just type in the beginning of the name. Well, just, you don't need the extension. Just right, right, right. That's, yeah. Dr. Spatzel, my creative labs. Please enter your name. All right. Also, so this is very, very cool. Because this is this is like the first speech synth synthesis thing that, uh, that like, we ever used. Um, so he's supposed to be a therapist. He's, okay. an, he's an AI therapist. <laughs> now, I think the reason why I got the idea to do this is because there's been so much stuff about AI lately. Right. That it might be fun to go back a little bit, you know, 30 years, I guess, at this point, and uh, see what the see what the programs were like back then. These weren't true AI. Uh, because they didn't learn. But, you know, ba they, back in the day, this is what we had. Now, before this, 
the last, the other instance I can think of of using synthesized voice to some arcade machines, Berserk, uh, and Berserk for the Atari 20, uh, 5200 did that. Um, uh-huh. The Star Trek, Star Trek uh, arcade game had some synthesized sound, um, and it was like really expensive to get these uh, uh, the synthesized sound in your machine and all that. And so it was, it was rare. There were some Nintendo games that uh, that did have synthesized. I know. Well, no, it had sampled voices. Gotcha. Like okay. uh, a double dribbles one. Uh, it's a basketball game from uh, NES by Konami. It would start off by saying double dribble like that. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So anyway, that's my spiel about that. I'm gonna. I want to kind of here. What's the best way for you to use a keyboard? Oh, okay. Just put it on my lap. All right, so he's talking to you, and okay. uh, he said, and I quote, What's your name? H O L L Y. And then just enter, right? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Holly. My name is Dr. Spatzel. Oh, okay. I am here to help you. Yay! Say whatever is in your mind freely. Our conversation will be kept in strict confidence. Memory contents will be wiped off after you leave. So, tell me about your problems. Okay. I am sad. Hmm. How can I cheer you up? Oh. Um. Uh. Give. Me. Don't forget you're still recording on the mic, so you gotta speak up. Yeah. Give me pizza. That is quite interesting. <laughs> That's well, what do you want him to say? Okay. Um. Uh. How about a poem? What do you suggest? Try like telling him what to do. Like read okay. a poem. Think of it more like you uh, know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I see. Okay. So read a poem. I think it is more interesting talking about sad things. Well, that's Well, dark. that's not really helpful. Why is it so dark? <laughs> you used to be able to do... You you could get him to read a whole... Uh, like a whole... Let me see if I can... Throw that up here real quick. Okay. I'm just I'm just curious. I don't know if I can or not. Um, if I... Re- I'm just... I just am remembering this right now. So I have no idea if it's, like, legit. Uh, let me just open up a text document. Uh, I don't know what. It's just going to be random. Um, sure. This one. Okay. I'm going to save this in the directory that I had uh, saved Dr. Spazo himself. Okay. And then I think it's a text file. I think you can tell him you go read me and then you type the name of the file. I think. I don't know if it's still going to work or not, but let's just make it easy. I'll do test. Oops. I'll do test. There's a lot more that you can do with him. So Wait. I haven't taken it away from you. Okay, right, right, right. Just want to okay. try this. Um, okay. I, might I mean, be, I was I, excited. I'm like, you know, here's a therapy session with Dr. Spitzo. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> so, is it read me test dot text. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Might be too long. Please give me more information about it. Or maybe it's... Oh, no, you know what it is? Discs. Yeah, I know. I just got it wrong. Say test dot text. Discs. Okay. So you go ahead and play with him. Uh, okay. You can ask him some more things. I'm going to look up some commands. Okay. Uh, see what commands work with him. What are some... Sad things. Oops. I spell it right. Okay. What is it that you really want to do? Are you sad? Don't forget your question mark. Oh. Question mark. I will be sad when you stop throwing these questions at me. Uh, try help. Okay. Help. Ah, this is stuff you can say, and if you hit M, there's more. All right. 
Okay. So we can change. Okay, we don't need to change all that. That's just changing the colors and everything. So let's see what happens. We'll hit M. Uh, topics. There you go. Let me tell you. Topics Aww. such as friends, schools, family, love, money, dreams, and emotions may arouse his special interest. He can also calculate simple mathematics. Uh, try to phrase your sentences in different formats for more, more varied responses. He hates bad language. Don't do the bad language. He does hate it. <laughs> okay. And it's it's crazy. And uh, he can go haywire if he's overexposed to them. You may ask him to say anything you want. Have fun. So you can tell him to. Uh, more hints. M. Oh, here's the keywords. What is why? How? No problem. Always computer exam. Lovely love. Nice day. Thanks. Mother. Boss. Intelli. Rich. Headache. Help. Afraid. Suffer. Smart. All right. Oh. Make, make some. Make some. Uh. You know. Okay. How do I go back? You're there. Okay. Um. I. M. Suffer. Are you guilty of something? Uh, I don't think. Oops, I don't think. Just type no. So. But you are only thinking that so. Hmm. What's your? Hmm. What does? Oops. What does that? mean? I'm having a conversation with Dr. Spazzo right now. Why do you ask this question? See, I'm afraid. I am afraid. You are afraid because you wanted to be. <laughs> Pretty wise. Pretty wise. I don't even know what to say at this point. <laughs> um, you are Lovely. You must be in love. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> try uh, try the word say and then tell it to say something. It'll say okay. something. Say this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> um, Here, I may do something real quick here. I'd like to show you what it does whenever you swear, but I don't want to. I don't want the swear word showing up on the screen. Okay. So, I'm gonna put that on for a second. He gets really mad. You'll hear him. Okay. Give me your age. Give me your age. Okay. Please set a good example to the younger generation. So I'm going to keep doing it, and he gets really mad. Holly, please don't use such language. Hey, watch your language, pal. You mustn't talk in that way. I'm going to keep talking in that way until he freaks out. This is stale stuff. Please don't repeat. <laughs> Keep such conversation to yourself. He's 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 actually being very calm. <laughs> I am not interesting. Ask me about something lovely instead. I it's just he's not doing it. It's really weird. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm running out of bad words. <laughs> I know you're not running out of bad words. I need more data. <laughs> Too little data, so I make big. Well, now that's weird. Uh, um, I never saw him do that before. What he did was uh, he changed his font size. That's really strange. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I was gonna. I was expecting him to get mad. <laughs> Please type in complete sentences. I know. It's not well. Okay. How do you do? Please ask me anything. I am not sure if I am an artificial intelligence. Hmm, I am not sure. 
Don't you believe that I can do? <laughs> I am a big bloody head. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> anyway, that's basically what he does. He can, you know, give you advice and stuff. You say, um, I need advice. Well, Holly, I would also need up for any six CPU. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> uh, tell him he has one. I think, uh, if I recall, the computer we actually used this on was a 386. You are a 486 Q. So what? Why is he so rude? I know. What are your real problems? Uh, what are my real problems? I'm lost. Could you please supply more details? <laughs> I see. Go on. He's just totally avoiding it. He's avoiding it completely. Don't type nonsense. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? I really enjoyed that. That was super great. We spent a lot of time playing with that growing up. I, I, could, I could see why. Like, that was super great. All right. Now, this next one, I, I'm not going to have the ability to have it actually work correctly, but it'll be a little bit of fun. Uh, this is called uh, Proddy the Parrot. Oh, And okay. he's a talking parrot. Okay. What he's supposed to do is he will um, repeat what you say if you speak into the microphone. Oh, but okay. But because it's going through the DOS box and these mics are set up the way they are, I, I don't think that's going to work. It's possible it might work through this. I could try it. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's go. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Hello there. I'm a talking parrot. Please talk to me. Hi, Mr. Bert. Nice to see you. Hello, Parrot. Parrot, hi. Yeah. But it's okay, because you can still do stuff. Okay. No, what, can, you no, click, what can you do with him? Just click on him. And he okay. Does fun stuff. Oh, that's fun. I'm a talking parrot. Hi, Mr. Parrot. Cute. I know he's great. <laughs> he's great. <laughs> I, I like him. him. I like him a lot. Ow. Oops. Anyway. Is he stuck on there you go. Ouch. Ow. Don't touch me. Ow. Don't touch me. <laughs> Ow. Don't touch me. Jesus dropped Ow. the radio. Yeah, that would have been great. Ow. Ouch. Ow. Don't touch me. <laughs> I'm going through every letter Ouch. in the alphabet. Just so you know what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Well, I, I, think, I think I did all of them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Ouch. Don't touch me. <laughs> yeah, and like every letter is different. So you never know what you're going to get. Like that was great. Oops. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, no, I like him. Whoa. I like him a lot. Ooh, that was new. Yeah, what was that? Dog barking. Woof. He's like, roof, roof. Have a nice day. Okay, you too. Oh, okay. Have a Thank wonderful you. day. <laughs> well, I don't know about hey, you. He said, hey, say something. Oh. But it's not working because I, I don't know. have the, I don't I have the mic hooked up. Uh, well, I think that's about the time that we've got set aside oh, for okay. today. I'm a talking parrot. I'm a talking parrot, apparently. I'll end, <laughs> I will end on that. As always, have yes. a good one. We wish you very best day and uh, very best day, period. Good luck, God bless, and good day, sir. All right, Kevin. Please say something. Whoop. <laughs> Ouch! 
Ow! 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 <laughs> Ow! 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 Ow!